Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing and heat transfers by Catspit Productions. Today's video is brought to you by RhinoTech and uh, it's a, this is a pretty cool product I wanted to share with you that's uh, available through RhinoTech. It's made by RhinoTech and um, remember that you can get a 5% discount when you use the Catspit Productions promo code for RhinoTech. Um, on the website, the Catspit Productions website, if you go to the print supplies page and you find RhinoTech, you will see that there's a code that you can use on RhinoTech's website to get 5% off your orders. And I believe orders over $50 get free shipping. So, um, you know, so it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, remember that you can get this product. It's called Single Step. And what it is, is a one, uh, one part color laser heat transfer paper okay so hopefully that makes sense that's a lot of you know it's a full color laser heat transfer paper and it's a one part process but it's self weeding okay so that means that you can do standalone graphics and text and none of the adhesive in between the image will transfer to the shirt so they call that a self weeding heat transfer paper Okay, and in this case, it's a color laser heat transfer paper. Okay, so really quick, let me try to go over some of the details for you. I have uh, the instructions for this paper made by RhinoTech, single step it's called, and they say it'll work on 100% cotton, 50-50 blends, poly cotton blends, and actually 100% polyester, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, and another thing that is very cool about this paper, which we might try today, okay, is that they say foil, uh, regular standard foils that adhere to Plastisol inks or Plastisol foil adhesive will stick to the transfer. And you can actually put foiling on top of this transfer and it sticks to it. So I think if we, if we do, you know, if the video goes well, we're going to try that, okay? So I thought that was really cool. All right, so a one step or a one part self weeding full color laser, digital laser heat transfer paper, okay? And it comes 11 by 17, as you see, and they also have 8.5 by 11, okay? And it's important to note that they do recommend uh, printing on a Go Uno printer. However, um, it seems that both the older uh, you know, laser printers with the oil will work with it, as well as newer laser printers without the oil should work with it. But in my experience, I think it's very important that your laser printer works really well. So you know, it's got to be like 100% on everything. And you should be able to, you know, you should be able to use this paper with different kinds of laser printers. But they do recommend a Go Uno laser printer because I believe the paper was developed, you know, using that machine. Okay, uh, if you're interested in those machines, RhinoTech also sells them. All right, so we have a uh, the one part self weeding color laser heat transfer paper here. This one was printed out on the Go Uno printer, and remember that. You have to reverse the design so that when you set it down, it'll read right, okay? So, RhinoTech suggests pre-pressing the shirt for a few seconds to, um, you know, get moisture and wrinkles out, okay? And then we're going to press the transfer at about 330 uh, for 25 seconds, okay? So, we're going to put that down where we want it. And we're going to bring our little unit up 25 seconds. I'm going to throw in the craft paper just to make sure that, you know, nothing gets ruined. And let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. So there's the time. <laughs> Sorry, my unit. Now, we have to let it cool for uh, five to ten seconds before peeling. Okay, and I know if you peel it, you know, when it's too cool, it, it's no good, it won't peel right. And if it's too hot, it's not really right either. So, I think the timing and the temperature, ow, my press is hot. <laughs> no duh. 
Um, I think the timing and temperature on this particular paper is, is a little bit more critical than most, you know, others, because, you know, of the single step process. So we want to try to be as accurate as possible with timing and temperature. And that looks pretty good. I left a little bit behind, a little bit, but the design looks good. So I'm going to roll with that. All right, and now RhinoTech suggests that we set the shirt, okay, and we're going to use the craft paper with, uh, you know, a little bit of heat and pressure for 10 seconds. Okay, so let's recall our 10 seconds. And we'll throw this down here. And we'll give it a 10 second setting press, okay? Okay, there it is. It's going to, sorry. <laughs> It's going to stick a little bit, you know, you'll feel it sticky a little bit to the tra uh, craft paper or your Teflon sheet, but you just peel it off and there we go. So let's have a close up look at it, shall we? I think with this particular one part self weeding full color heat transfer laser transfer paper, that's a mouthful, <laughs> um, your timing and temperatures are critical um, because, you know, if, if some of it pulls back up, you lose you know, you're going to lose some of your detail or your color or whatever. This one transferred pretty well, even down in the small fine print and stuff. And this one worked really well. But I can see, you know, by doing a couple transfers with it and working with it a little bit, that, you know, it, you, you're going to, you know, a digital um, thermostat or a digital uh, temperature setting on your heat press probably would be helpful. You know, mine doesn't have that, so it's kind of hard to dial in my heat setting properly and um, you know make sure your times are you know it's it, with any digital heat transfer paper you're always gonna have to test and see what works best and also wash it and see how you like the end result after laundering okay so um, it's a pretty cool uh, transfer paper what I noticed is that your timing and temperature with this particular paper will be critical you're gonna want to make sure that you're more accurate like I said, right, maybe a digital uh, thermostat would help out. But um, overall, it made a really nice transfer. I lost a little bit in some parts. And, you know, like I said, my, my heat press doesn't have, you know, it was kind of hard to dial in the heat for me. So I think I had a little difficulty uh, with testing and stuff that, that you know, it's, it's like with any digital heat transfer process, you always want to do thorough testing and see what is going to work best for your particular situation and then after that it's even more critical or important to do laundering tests and see if you're happy with the end result after laundering so that when you give it to a customer you know what's going to happen and you know what to expect okay so that's always important with any digital heat transfer process at all all right so pretty cool stuff thanks a lot to rhino tech for sending us some paper to check out and play around with it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's worth uh, investigating if you're if you're into this kind of thing, the heat transfer things. Um, it's definitely worth looking into and trying it out and seeing if you like it. And don't forget that you can get this transfer paper and other Rhino Tech products at a five percent discount from list price on the Catspit Productions website when you use the Catspit promo code for Rhino Tech. All right, so check out the print supplies page for Rhino Tech's information and all their. Uh, products that we, we uh, feature on the website and get the code and use it at checkout on Rhino Tech's website and bam, 5% off. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, I really appreciate all your time and attention. If you like what you see, comment below, rate thumbs up, and please subscribe. We'll see you next time.